it's Carrie. In today's 5-Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how I translate from PubMed syntax to Scopus syntax. So this might be useful if you're doing a literature review and you've created a literature search for one database or another, in this case PubMed, and you'd like to put it into another database without recreating the entire search because Ideally, we should be searching each database the same way. Should I say each database or platform the same way? So here I've created a search in PubMed with mesh terms and keywords for baclofen and then mesh terms and keywords for dystonia, dystonic disorders, and spasticity. So I've already created it. I've seen that it runs in PubMed. I've checked it for errors and it should be okay to translate. I'm going to copy it and paste it. Now you'll notice that I'm working in a Word document. I prefer working in a Word document and I am normally a text block searcher so I like all my terms grouped together so that it's easy for me to run and test and rerun quickly. Now I need to format this for Scopus. I'm going to select the whole search and go up to find and replace. Now before every beginning parenthesis and this would work well if you had a really big search. I need title, abstract, keyword. That's Scopus syntax for title, abstract, keyword, and we still need that open parenthesis. So let's replace all. And then just check it to make sure it works. There they are, title, abstract, keyword. We're going to replace our field tags, quote, TW or, quote, with closed curly bracket or open curly bracket. Scopus uses curly brackets for exact matching, so if you had a truncation symbol, you should use quotes instead. These curly brackets won't work on your truncation symbol terms. But I don't have any truncation symbols, so I'm going to go ahead and replace all. No. And I see that I did have a mistake because you notice up here it didn't work, so I'll just do it manually closed curly bracket or open curly bracket and you'll see that it didn't work at the end of my concept so let me highlight it again and again you can do this manually or with find and replace so I've done quote TW close parenthesis replace with curly bracket and end parenthesis replace all so I've taken care of those two ends of each concept and the last thing I have to do is mesh so PubMed has medical subject headings. There's no controlled vocabulary in Scopus, so we will just replace them. Uh, I can get rid of these all because my words are represented in my keywords, and so we'll just replace that. Now this search can be copied and pasted into Scopus Advanced Search, and we should see some results that way. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.